In this exercise, we have to create a following model. We have a material, chrome stainless steel, units millimeters, and here we have two global variables, A and B. So here we have an origin X, Y on this face. We're going to start first with this sketch, as we can see here, and then we're going to extrude this sketch with depth B. After that, we're going to create a rip, because if we create a rip after, then we can see here we have a holes, and those holes go through all. And then if we create those holes before the rip, then this hole here won't be on the rip. That's why the second step is to create a rip. And we want to make sure that this rip is right in the middle, because later when we're going to change the variable B, we want to make sure that this rip will stay in the middle. After that, we're going to create those three features here, this hole here, and those two slots here. And then we have to calculate the mass. In the task 2, we have to change the global variables A and B and calculate the mass. In task 3, we have to change those angles, this one to 60 and this one to 50, and calculate the mass. And in the task 4, we have to change global variables and we have to calculate the center of the mass relative to the origin here. Now let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. And let's first define global variables, so let's go to Tools and Equations. So let's go with A. 100 millimeters. Let's go with B, 80 millimeters. Let's click OK. Now let's add a material, right click, edit material. Now let's go with the chrome stainless steel, this one here. Let's go with apply and close. And now we can go to the front plane and we can start with the first sketch. We're gonna go with a line, we're gonna start here and we're gonna go to the origin. Then we're gonna go with horizontal line like this, and here we have another line, like this. Now let's put some dimensions. So here we have 35 millimeters. This one here is A. So let's go equal, global variable A. So let's click OK. And the last one here is 55 millimeters. Let's go to 55, like this. Now we have to define the angle. So here we have between those two lines, 50 degrees. And between this line and this line here, we have 140 degrees. Let's click OK. And now we have two options. We can either go to the offset entities, or we can go directly to the extruded boss base, and then we can use a thin feature. So the fastest way is that we can go to the extruded boss base and here we're going to use thin feature. Let's look at the direction and this is not the direction that we're looking for. So we want to go here with reverse direction and we want to change here the thickness to 5 millimeters like this. Now let's go here with depth. The depth is B. So let's put here equal global variable and B. Like this. And now we see that we have to change direction. Let's go here, reverse direction, like this. Let's click OK. And this is what we're looking for. Now let's show our origin. And our origin is here. In the next step, we have to create a rip. So we want to be sure that our rip is right in the middle. That's why we're going to use for a reference a central line. So let's go on this face and let's create a central line. Let's go normal too. Let's go here to the central line. Let's create horizontal central line. Now let's define the distance here between this edge and the center line. So let's go to Smart Dimension. Let's choose this edge and this center line here. Now we want to make sure that this center line will be always in the middle. So let's type here equal. Let's go with global variable B divided by 2. Like this. And now here we have an equation. And now that each time when we're going to change the B, this center line will be always in the middle. Let's click OK. So now here we have a sign of equation. Let's exit sketch. And now we can create a new plane here and we're going to use this center line as a reference. And on this plane, we're going to create a sketch for the rip. So let's go here to the features. Let's go to the plane. Let's choose as a first reference, this center line. As a second reference, we're going to choose this face here. But we're going to change here from perpendicular to parallel, like this. Let's click OK. Now let's create a sketch 
on this plane one. So let's go to the sketch. Let's go normal two. Let's choose a line and we're gonna draw a line from this edge here to this edge here, like this. Let's put some dimensions. So here we have from the origin to this point here, 20 millimeters. And here we have from this point to the origin horizontal dimension, 30 millimeters, like this. Let's click OK. Now we can go to the rib. We can define a rib. The rib thickness is 10 millimeters. Make sure you have turned on both sides. The direction is up to material. This is good. And now we can just click OK. And this is our rib. Now we can hide the plane one. And we can hide this central line. And now we can go to this face and we can create features here and holes here. So let's go to this face and let's create a sketch. Let's go normal too, like this. First, we're going to start with the center point arc right here in the middle, like this, from this edge to this edge. Then we're going to create another center point arc here on this edge again, from this point to here, and on the left side as well, from this point to here. Those center lines have radius. 10 millimeters, so they're all equal. So let's click on this one, this one, and this one. Let's make them equal, like this. Let's click OK. Now let's go with Smart Dimension. Let's put here a dimension, 10 millimeters. This is the radius, like this. Let's click OK. Now we have an open loop. Now we want to close those loops here. So let's click here on this edge. Let's go with Convert Entities. Like this. Now let's choose a trim and let's trim here and here, like this. Let's click OK. Now we can go to the features and we can extrude those sketches, like this. We have to change direction, so let's turn on reverse direction. And here we have for the depth, 30 millimeters, like this. Let's click OK. Now we have to create holes here, and those holes, those three holes, goes through all. As well, this hole here goes through all. So let's go to this face, let's create a sketch again. Let's go normal too, like this. Let's choose circle. Let's go here to the center. Here, let's create one circle. Here we have second circle. And the third circle here. like this. And here we have another circle. Now those three circles are the same size. So let's click on this one, this one, and this one, and let's make them equal. Let's go to Smart Dimensions. And the radius of this circle is 2.5, and the diameter is 5 millimeters, like this. And here is the diameter 11 millimeters. The distance between the center of this circle and this edge is 30 millimeters. Let's click OK. Now we can see that we can move this circle to left or right. So let's click on this point here. We can click on this point here. And let's go with vertical relation. Let's click OK. Now we can go to the features, extrude cut. And now we can cut with those circles. And we're going to choose here through all, like this. Let's click OK. And now you see why it's important first to create a rib. Because if we first create those holes and then a rib, then this rib wouldn't have this hole. So the sequence of the model creation is really important. Now let's go to this face again here. Let's create a sketch. Let's go here with convert entities. Let's choose this edge. Now let's create another circle here with diameter of 15 millimeters. Let's click OK. And now we're going to extrude this circle in two directions. So let's go to Features, Extrude Boss Base. For direction 1, we're going to go with 5 millimeters. And let's check this direction 2. And we're going to go here 
up to surface. So let's choose this surface like this. Let's click OK. And this is what we're looking for. Now here in this space, we have to create two slots. So let's go here. Let's create a sketch. Like this. Let's choose center rectangle. Let's create a rectangle here like this. Let's make this line and this line equal. Now let's go to Smart Dimension. Let's make this line 25. And the distance between this edge and this line is 5 millimeters. And the distance between this line and this edge is also 5 millimeters. Let's click OK. Now we have to create another rectangle here, or we can use mirror entities. But first, let's create here a center line. Let's go from this midpoint here. Let's create horizontal center line, like this. Now we can go to mirror entities. We can select entities to mirror those four lines here. And mirror about, we're going to choose this center line. Let's click OK. Now here we have another rectangle. Now we can cut with this rectangle. So let's go to the features, extrude cut. And the depth is 2.5 millimeters. Let's click OK. And the last step is to add fillets. So let's go to the fillet. And the fillet is 5 millimeters. So the radius is 5 millimeters. So we have to choose this edge here. This edge here. This edge here. This one here this one here and this one here let's click ok and this is our model that we're looking for now let's go to the evaluate mass properties and our mass is 652.15 grams and this is within one percent in the task 2 we have to change global variables so let's go here to equation folder right click and manage equations so we have to change a to 110 and b to 85 let's click ok now let's go to the mass properties again and the mass is 720.50 grams and this is also within one percent so this is correct answer now the test 3 we have to change the angles so let's go here to the extrude team, sketch 1. Let's edit this sketch. Let's go normal 2. Let's change this angle from 50 to 60 degrees. And this one here to 130 degrees. Let's click OK. Now let's exit sketch. And now let's calculate the mass. Mass properties and we have 730.61. And this is the correct result. In the task 4, we have to change global variables. So let's go to equations, manage equations, and let's change A to 120. And let's change B to 80. Let's click OK. And now we have to calculate center of the mass relative to the origin. So let's go to the mass properties. And here we have 63.06, 15.09, and minus 40.01. And this is the correct answer.